And then let's move away from music, although I will tell you this, music is the most successful and popular form of human endeavor on this planet. And the people who don't like marijuana, the prohibitionists, the straight people, the haters, the people who use government violence to suppress us, owe us an incredible debt of things. Because imagine every single iPod of theirs, every single thing they play at home, wiped clean. I think that would be just a perfect, I could pass a law, and I don't believe in laws, but if I could pass a law, I would pass a law that anybody who believes that marijuana should be illegal have every pot song erased from their musical library. Let's see how they like that. <laughs> they won't like it at all. They won't like it at all. And, and listen, why don't you take their computers away? And give them the old data machines that you see in those 1950s that take up a whole wall and you have to put data info cards. I went to school in a time where data pro, data processing, involved punching cards. What a time. <laughs> Fed your machine. Why don't we make them go back to that? See how they like that. Oh yeah, you're against pot well, Give me that Mac computer. Give me that iPod. You don't deserve that iPhone. You deserve this big brownie from the 1950s that you've got to use a big flash bulb for once. Try and live with that for a day and then tell me what you think of potheads. <laughs> but let's not stop there. We've got scientists that smoke pot. Ted Turner, the founder of CNN, smoked pot. Big, huge bars every day when he developed CNN. Moses Neimer, the founder of Much Music, Much More Music, City TV. It smokes a big charmer right now. <laughs> and I'm not talking to you about people like the head of CBS or the president of Price Waterhouse Accounting smoking weed. Nobody cares what they're smoking because they're doing sweet fuck all to make our lives better. <laughs> they're not doing anything at all. I'm talking about, and I tell you that pop people have made this world what it is. I'm talking about people who give you the most beautiful, cutting edge, brilliant things that revolutionize the way we live. Not the status quo bastards like CBS and stuff, Fox News. You know Fox News knows we can. Geraldo hasn't smoked since 1975 and it sure so shows. Geraldo smoked in 1975, he was almost hit then. <laughs> no. William Shakespeare smoked pot. The greatest writer in the English language smoked pot. The greatest composers of music in the modern era smoked pot. All the cutting edge people who brought you computers and iPods and iPhones smoked pot. You go and tell that to people when you hear them rave on about how bad marijuana is. The greatest athletes ever put forward smoke pot. Every single member of the NBA Basketball Association who's black smokes pot. They're trying to smoke it now, but they get kicked out. <laughs> Carmelo Anthony got picked up two weeks ago with like top ten basketball players. And he, and he has to go through this humiliating ordeal because he smoked pot. What's the alternative? Smoking, drinking alcohol? Are you kidding me? Snowboarder, 1980, 1998, Ross Rebiani, smoked pot, what a gold medal. Mike, Mike, Mike got a good friend named Rob Van Dam, he's a wrestler. He's won six championship belts, and every day since 1990 to 2006, he smoked a big bomber because he explained to me, he said, Mark, I need marijuana, it helps me focus, I can visualize the fight, I visualize how it's going to go, I can visualize my victory, it helps me focus on what's going to happen and how I'm going to deal with it. Besides, in my business I've broken my bones and lived 16 times. I need to focus through the pain, and marijuana allows me to focus through the pain and get to where I want to go so I can see it happening. Before every fight, every wrestler smokes marijuana. Every wrestler, he says. And look! at the greatest Olympic athlete of all fucking time, 16 gold medal, Michael Phelps, the winner. More or less, smoking weed. And he's got to get a breathe, get a breathe for those men. He's got to get a breathe properly. He breathes though, he's won 16 gold medals and two bronze medals. He's won more medals than any Canadian Olympic team's ever won in the whole fucking thing in one year. <laughs> one guy has beaten every Canadian athlete as far as gold medals go. Michael Phelps, greatest athlete of the modern era, and he smokes pot. In fact, he's got a campaign with Subway now called Be Yourself. And I think he's being really cheeky. I think he knows what we, he means. <laughs> he means I couldn't say it. But since Subway's paid me a lot of money, I decided to call this campaign Be Yourself. And smoke a lot of weed because you might win 16 gold medals like me, is what he said. <laughs> Absolutely goddamn right. So you've got the greatest writer of the English language. You got the greatest music of the modern era. You got the greatest athlete of the modern era. Everybody who does great stuff 
to benefit our world, to make this a greater place to be smokes weed. And everybody else who doesn't smoke weed just sucks it up like some parasite, some resentful parasite who can't handle our success and wants to put us down. Isn't that insane? And I'll, and I'll tell you one thing too. Everything in this world that's legal is going to kill you and comes with a lie. Everything. Look at alcohol. Alcohol kills people every day. 10,000 Canadians die of it every day. It causes more domestic violence. It causes people to rob banks. It causes certain negative. In thousands of bars across this country every Friday night, someone's puking, someone's fighting, someone's raping, someone's being seduced. I, there isn't a woman in here over the age of 20 who can't say that they got drunk and fucked someone they didn't shit and done that. Every person here has gotten drunk and done something really irresponsible and stupid that they regret. You know there's more unwanted pregnancies as a result of alcohol use than any other reason on earth. And every guy here over 20 is trying to seduce some woman by getting her drunk. You know you have. You know you have. Because alcohol makes you act immoral, it changes who you are, makes you do terrible things. So does cocaine. Bad drugs, bad, but it's legal. Marijuana is illegal, and we're hunted down like dogs, and there's a quarter million people in jail in one time, but alcohol's illegal, it's everywhere. It's promoted on our national pastime hockey. And what's going on? You got three homely guys in the corner, got the silver bullet ready, and they shoot the silver bullet, it hits the woman and it explodes on sort of like jizz all over them. And the next thing you know, they're right beside each other, boogie and down. What does that say? Hey, buy our date rape drug. It's cheap and it's everywhere. <laughs> Absolutely. And you know what gets me? You know, if you look under your kitchen cupboard there with a the drain, you look at the drain, the drain's got skull and crossbones on it, says don't consume. Who the hell is drinking drain -o? <laughs> no two-year-old knows what that means anyway. You're too old to get the train on. They don't know what it means. But it's there, and it's making us say, don't drink it. You know what? You can buy a bottle of Jack Daniels, and it will kill every single human being if you consume that one bottle in 24 hours. And it doesn't even have a warning. There's no skull and crossbones on Jack Daniels. And you're supposed to drink it. It kills you. There's not a single warning on it. Nothing. It doesn't have any skull and crossbones. It doesn't tell you to drink moderately. No way. You drink that whole bottle in 24 hours, and you're a dead man. Not a problem. It can buy ads. They can put that ball out. Alcohol is legal and nobody goes to jail. Alcohol kills people like crazy and nobody goes to jail. I have not seen the president of Molson Breweries brought before a court and say, to justify what about those tens of thousands of Canadians you've killed. Killed on the road. Killed in their homes. Killed with your poisons. I've never seen that maker of Jack Daniels brought before a court to account for anything. There's no accountability. It's all legal. It's all a lie. It'll all kill you.